Hi guys, today I want to share with you guys one of my favorite comfort food recipes, which is cottage pie. Now, cottage pie and shepherd's pie are very similar and a lot of people get both of them mixed up. Well, actually, cottage pie is made of beef and shepherd's pie is made of lamb and that's the only difference but all the other ingredients are very similar and today I want to share with you guys um, one of the recipes that I've been making ever since I was probably 11 or 12 years old um, I absolutely love this recipe and it's really really easy to make so we're gonna start by making the filling so it's really easy I'm gonna start by heating some olive oil in my wok Okay, now that my oil is hot, I'm going to add in my chopped garlic. We're going to saute this until it's fragrant. Ah, oh, this is lovely. It's nice and fragrant now. So we're going to add our minced beef. Oops. I'm going to cook this beef for about 5 minutes so until everything is cooked and then we're going to add in our vegetables. Alright, so my beef is done. It's released its own juices and fats and now it's beautiful and fully cooked. So now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to start with my onion. my celery, my carrots and all these ingredients should be chopped finely. I'm going to add in my thyme. I'm just going to add them whole and remove the stalks later. And of course my bay leaves. I'm going to add my tomato puree. And my Worcestershire sauce, some pepper, and my stock. Give it a good stir. And I want to season it with some salt right now so my meat can absorb all the salt and all these beautiful flavors. So for this recipe, I won't be adding any sugar because I'm using lots of vegetables and they will release its juices and that will add the sweetness to our filling. Okay, so I'm going to add in my smoked paprika and I've decided to also add a little bit of mustard in just to give a little bit of the heat and some mustard. So you want to cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it dries up and you get a beautiful filling. I love making mashed potatoes because I think it's, you know, one of the easiest things to do but yet so satisfying because it's super delicious. And of course, you can, you know, add all sorts of things in your mashed potatoes to sort of like, you know, change it up a little bit. You can add some garlic, you can add herbs, you can add spices, you know, anything you like really. Cheese, cheese, and we're adding some cheese here. Uh, so over here, I've got mashed potatoes. So I am using about six russet potatoes, which I've boiled with a generous amount of salt. So when you're boiling potatoes, make sure you boil the potatoes together with a room temperature water and salt. You shouldn't boil potatoes in boiling water because this is going to affect the texture of the potato because the outer part will cook first and it will take a longer time to cook the middle part, resulting in the outer layer being a bit on the mushy side. And you don't want that. So I boiled my potatoes and I use um, my potato ricer. Now I am going to heat my milk and my cream and my butter together. Cream and butter. I'm also going to season my milk so that when I mix it, my salt will be distributed evenly. Okay, while that is happening, I am going to grate a little bit of nutmeg onto my potatoes. 
Nutmeg is gonna add like a nice, warm, sweet taste to your mashed potatoes. Now, my cream, milk, and butter has come to a boil. I'm gonna add three quarter of my cheese into my mash. And I'm gonna keep a quarter for the topping later. And I'm gonna pour in my milk. Okay, so now we're gonna mix it well. All right, so I've mixed my mash well. That was a workout. I deserve a spoon. I'm gonna give it a taste and see if I've got enough seasoning. I love mashed potatoes, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Lovely. All right, so now we can assemble our cottage pie. So my filling's done. You can see it's nice and thick and you want it like this. You can also add a little bit of flour in the beginning to help the thickening process or you can just braise it for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's nice and beautiful and glossy like this. So now I'm going to assemble my pie. Super easy. I'm just going to put some of the filling in a casserole dish. And because this is a scoop out type of pie, you don't really need to line your casserole dish with anything. So we're going to fill this casserole dish halfway through with meat and top it up with our mashed potatoes. You can also season your mashed potatoes with a little bit of white pepper if you like. So now I'm just going to put my mash on top of the beef. You can score it using your fork. You can be creative, but I'm just going to sprinkle some cheese on top. So I'm not going to do any of those. Now I'm going to sprinkle some cheddar and we're just going to put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until you get a beautiful golden crust. Okay, I'm going to pop it in the oven now. Okay, so my pie is done. I'm going to take it out of the oven now. Ah, oh, it looks so beautiful. Ooh, it's quite hot. <laughs> I'm okay. Well, anyway, this is my pie and it's done and it looks and smells absolutely amazing. This is definitely one of my top three favourite comfort food. I hope you'll try this recipe and when you do, make sure you share your pictures with me. Jumpon makan!